I think it's rather fitting that at the end of the year, the calendar year, we, be, we read the beginning of the Gospel of John. And I think there's a very good reason for that, because as we end a year, what the Gospel of John does is that it brings us all the way back to the time before creation. Before the world existed, the Word was among us. And the Word, of course, is Jesus Christ. And then, as it moves on a little bit, it talks about John the Baptist announcing the, 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 the child. The Word became flesh. And of course, that we celebrated at Christmas. And John, and, and John the, the evangelist, reminds us that Moses given the law, and Jesus came to fulfill the law. What a beautiful way to end the year than to remind us that before the world began, Jesus existed and has always been with us. And we take pleasure in that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us because in a darkened world, new light, and if you notice how many times light is used in the Gospel, that opening lines, the light of the world, the light of possibility, the light of new life, the light of hope, the light of love, the light of forgiveness. May our new year be a time of new life, of hope, knowing that the Lord is present among us, especially when we are gathered together as a church, when we celebrate the Eucharist, and know that the light is always with us to guide us in our lives. So as we begin our new year in a few hours, let us follow the light and be the light that God calls us to be. Thank you.